Hi guys, welcome back to Angel Art. I'm Gretzel. Thank you for joining me here today. And also welcome to the Fluid Art Express. And I want to thank Darren and my sweet friend Christy Connolly. Girl, you know I love you. I want to thank you for inviting me to this Fluid Art Express, guys. I'm honored to tell you the truth. I had my first collaboration last week and now I have the second one this week so yeah I think I'm I'm enjoying these collaborations okay because it feels like you're like doing it with the community and I really like that feeling okay it's like you're not alone in this and the end of my video I'll, I'll tell you who's gonna be next and I'm gonna tell you also where to go to all right so let's start okay oh, and knowing that christy and i both have a love for purple i just thought like can't do this one without using the permanent blue violet okay so let me show you my colors talons gold talons deep blue violet permanent blue violet and I put in some pearl drops, purple, to give it just a tiny bit of extra gloss. In the same chamber, I'm going to put magenta, Amsterdam magenta, and maybe even a little bit of vermilion. I'm not sure yet, okay? The next chamber is going to be silver, talons as well, heavy body paint. And in the same chamber, I'm going to put Amsterdam Naples Yellow Green. And it, it's such a beautiful color. It looks very greenish at the moment, but it's such a beautiful color. And in the last chamber, I'm going to put Talents Ivory Black. My plan for today is a straight pour, but with the split cup. I'm going to call it a special split cup because it's my split cup. And this split cup is like four years old, almost four years old. So I'm going to, I really need to order a new one, guys. But why throw it away if it still works, right? So I'm pouring on a 30 by 30 centimeter canvas. The back has been taped off. And I do have her on my spinner. Let's start with the gold. And if I think I don't have enough, I might have to fill in some parts again, but that's okay. Gold. Mostly purple. Some red, maybe drizzle in some of that vermilion, purple again, magenta, bit of vermilion and I'm going to top her off with the deep blue violet okay so this side is going to be the silver and a, just a few drops of, I actually would like to do it from that side, silver,
and let's top her off with silver. Oh, don't. <laughs> and last, but not least, the color I wear the most, and that is black, okay? I still have enough paint, so if I need to refill my cup, I still have, all right? my gold let's go Color already. Can't wait. That's pretty cool, ain't it? I'm gonna put down a little bit of flow extender because I don't want to ruin this pattern too much and I know I still have in my cup the flow extender is 
just to wet the canvas so your pattern doesn't get destroyed okay so that the pour is gonna go out evenly on all sides all right it's not because I don't have enough paint because believe me I do Best you get your flow extender as flat as possible on your canvas. That sounds. I think that's supposed to. That's the best way I can explain it. Try to make it flat. Doesn't always have to be perfect. Eh? It's art, guys. So. I think the most the most important thing if you have to do when you do make your art is have fun. Okay? Don't make it stressy. Don't start go for a big pour at, in the beginning if you just start it off. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, you guys. I just got a gorgeous apron for my daughter and son-in-law. And I, I still keep forgetting to put her on. I do think I'm going to tilt off that piece. Not sure yet, okay? But let's go. So I really don't want to lose too much, all right? I'm always scared to just give it one hell of a... point on I want to manipulate where I want my paint I can just take the corner and pull it over all right let's go we take the paint and take her off same thing here okay take to the corner side afterwards I'm gonna spin her again okay because I really need to see what parts I want to keep okay so same thing here just pull it over okay I'm gonna put her on my stands and go for the last composition okay I want to take this part off all right I don't know why, but I really don't like that. Let's go to that corner first. Tiny bit to this side, not much. This corner. 
Walk all the way. Okay, that's enough. This is gonna dry so beautiful, this one. Can't wait. Give it a good last torch. I give it a torch now, but definitely in about 10, 15 minutes, I'm gonna give it one more last torch. This is one of my favorite pours in months. Mine, okay? Because I just love these colors, guys. So in love with it. Yeah, I'm so happy with this one, guys. I'm really happy with this one. I love the, the, the movement because it's like a swirl. And I love that it has a focal center point. But anyway, let's go into the close-up. Okay, you can really see the magenta still. There as well. But gosh, isn't that just the prettiest thing? That purple, that purple lining. Oh my goodness. Can't wait to see all that gloss, guys. Here as well, you see the magenta, okay? center if you look at it from my side it's like it's a can you see that like a palm tree I will be showing you the dried results at the end of my video so stay tuned for that but I do want to mention the next great artists that are coming along okay after me, there's going to be Taslima Maya from Taslima Maya Art. Then we're going to have Darren Nixon from Venom Fluid Art. Then we're going to have my sweet friend Christy Connolly from Christy Creations. After Christy, we're going to get Shannon Baxman from Shan B Fluid Art. Then we're going to get Kayleen Simons. I hope I say that good, my sweet friend. And Kayleen is from Venom Fluid Art as well. Last but not least, we're going to get Tony Pender. And I have been practicing this from the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. Okay? So please hang in there for this express today on Sunday. Because there are going to be a lot more amazing artists. Alright? Well, I really hope you enjoyed my video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And hit that notification bell for me. So we can meet each other every week. Thank you for your support and greetings from the Netherlands.